Hi folks, it's uh, Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you a very quick demo on how to use SQL Server integration services to load data into a SQL Azure table. And SQL Azure is Microsoft's um, cloud-based um, database. So as a quick overview, I'll talk about why you'd want to load data into cloud, the basic process to um, load data, and then I'll give you an actual live demo where I load a uh, small data set up to a um, Azure table. So why do you want to load data into uh, a um, cloud-based database? Well, first of all, data becomes highly available. So um, I normally work in New Zealand, but I'm currently working out of South Africa. Um, regardless of where I am, I can just log into any PC, get access to that database. Um, likewise, you can also, say, build a reporting solution. You can say, for example, if you've got a Power Pivot dashboard, that data can refresh um, based on Azure or cloud-based um, data, so um, you don't have to worry about you know uh, connections to um, data sources on networks and things like that. So it makes it fairly easy in that sense. It's also um, Azure is a um, a nice scalable um, solution, so you can start off with say one gig in size and then move up to pretty much unlimited size. Also. Um, uh, it's also generally pretty low entry costs, so I think Azure starts at about $10 a month or so, so pretty pretty cheap, and you can just scale up or scale down um, your um, the database and the and the um, and your sort of investment from a price perspective, depending on you know the business's needs. So there's basic um, five basic st um, steps, I guess, um, to load data. Um, into Azure. So first of all, you obviously need a, an Azure account and a um, database and a destination table you want to load up to. Um, then you create a connection from a data source, such as today we're going to use a CSV file. So we connect to that um, CSV file from integration services. Um, one thing to note, you need to make sure that the data you're loading up into Azure is the same format as the um, um, the data within the uh, the column, the data formats within the columns of the database. Otherwise, you need to do a um, uh, transform the data within integration services, which is a pretty simple process as well. Um, key thing you really need to know is the uh, fully qualified um, DNS name, um, your server name, and the uh, destination table name within Azure. It's all pretty easy stuff, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then you just create a ADO.NET connection to SQL Azure. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll go through and just do a live demo. Um, so you just you need to open up um, SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio, which is where Integration Services lives. Create a, we'll create a new project. We'll just call this um, uh, Load Azure. So let's call it just DB, click OK. So first thing you need to do is you drag a data flow task onto, uh, onto the control flow, double click on the data flow task, so that really just acts as the envelope in which the, uh, for the package we're going to build. Pull in a flat file source, so this is the data connection we're going to make to the CSV file. Double click on that, create new, uh, we'll just go call it connect to CSV, then we just navigate to where that CSV file is, down here we click CSV files, That's this is the file we're going to load, click open, we know that the column names in the first row of data, there we go, so this is the data here, it's all good, yeah, it's all, like I was saying, all fine, everything looks good. Um, so we'll just call this CSV source, for example. And then the next thing is really just creating the, um, identifying where we want to send the data off to. And like I mentioned before, we need an ADO.NET connection. We just connect up to that. So now we need to um, basically get the login credentials for SQL Azure. So we'll go to your SQL Server Azure sort of management window, so this is pretty much the start page for your um, for Windows Azure when you log in. So you have a subscription here, you click under that subscription, this is my server here, 
and on the right hand side we see what the fully qualified DNS name is. If we click the server again we see the databases underneath it and we're going to send the data off to um, the Tigerfish database but what we need to do is select the fully qualified DNS name, copy that, click on the ADO.NET connection, um, we need to create a new connection, I'm just going to delete this old one out, new connection, so the server name, this is where we paste in our DNS, we need to put in our login credentials for SQL Azure, so these are mine, okay, we know that, that the database name is, in my case, is uh, Tigerfish. Then we just test this connection. Should come back fine after a couple seconds. Yep, that's all good. Click OK. Click OK again. So now um, we'll just click on the table which we're going to load up to. Should be something like Load Azure. Yep. So that's the t my table that, I've, that already exists up in the um, within the Tigerfish database. So we need to click on the mappings. This will basically say what is what column in the source data do we want to map what column in the source data we want to map to the column in the Azure database. So there we go, drag those those uh, connections across so it maps up pro properly. Click OK and then that should be it. So all we need to do is set this package running to load the data. So we click on the green start debugging button. Just take a couple of seconds to establish the connection. So this will be shooting data from off my PC in Durban in South Africa now off to my server which is sitting somewhere in Southeast Asia. So just turn that off, stop debugging. Now we jump back up into the uh, Azure's management portal, click on Tigerfish and then we'll navigate to the table to make sure those four rows of data have been, um, have been loaded. So just log in again, connect. So we'll just check this load Azure table, make sure our um, here it is here, just click on the view data, there we go, so these are the four, um, four rows of data that have been successfully um, loaded from, from my CSV file up into SQL Azure, so that's pretty much it, pretty simple um, process. Um, if you found this um, this useful, might be um, one thing's worth doing is perhaps subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, that way, you'll get updates every time I produce a new video. I try and do it every couple of weeks. I've been a bit um, preoccupied with a few other projects the last month or so, the last couple of months, but I'm going to um, start um, start posting fairly regularly. Um, the other things probably worth doing is you could go across and have a look at my website uh, my website's analyticsinaction.com it has lots of information on integration services how to learn it um, things like um, reporting tools predictive modeling um, you name it so really good resource for getting up to speed with lots and lots of um, business intelligence tools um, basically so hope you found this useful folks and um, like I'm saying um, visit the website and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel.